back guys, welcome back to another episode of the Property Game of Tours with me your host Karan Bajaj aka Dubai's Friendly Neighborhood Property Man Oh, and that little fly through that you just saw me do was actually a 5 to 8 minute walk from the Dubai Mall and Dubai Canal respectively to today's featured project that I will be showing you guys in a bit Now, when you're in the market for a good property in the heart of the city, you come across a plethora of developments that love to identify themselves as quote-unquote luxurious. But come to think of it, the term luxury can be a pretty loose and subjective term. I mean, one person's luxury can be another person's necessity. Anyway, assuming we can all reasonably control our hedonistic pursuits, I'm sure we can all agree upon certain parameters that define what luxury is. But what if there was a developer that could quite literally be considered a household brand when it comes to luxury so much that you wouldn't even have to think twice. A developer that offered you the opportunity to live right next to the Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall and Dubai Canal in their very midst. Before I end up talking in riddles, I bring you a work in progress that will be a glistening development with a matte silver finish on its platinum facade, the Sterling. Now, in one sentence, the Sterling is a luxury high-rise set of twin towers spanning 25 stories from the ground up, located in Business Bay, offering views of the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Water Canal, and consists of studio, one-bedroom, two-bedroom, three-bedroom and four-bedroom apartments, lofts, townhouses and penthouses, due for completion in Q1 2023. Developed by the visionary developer known for their exquisite high-end developments that are unique works of art in their own right, Omniat, this ornament of a project that adorns the heart of the city is the perfect luxury retreat that doesn't break the bank and sits right in the middle just minutes away from the Dubai Mall and Dubai Canal. Now, this development has really taken its amenities into serious consideration to be able to identify itself as quote-unquote luxurious. I'm going to pop these amenities up on screen for you guys to be able to pause and read them in 3, 2, 1. Oh, and in terms of location, you'd practically be in the heart of the city. See? Okay guys, so right now we are about to check out a one-bedroom show apartment for the Sterling by Omniat. I'm currently in the East Tower and each tower, you know, East and West Towers have three elevators and one service elevator so that makes it a total of four elevators. They are located in the corners of every floor so as to facilitate privacy. But let us just check out this one-bedroom show apartment nonetheless. Alright, so immediately upon entering, ooh, you guys can see how neat it looks. Wow, okay, I'll close the door behind me. So, let's start off with the flooring, right? We have marble flooring. Immediately to my left, we have an open kitchen. Now, this open kitchen is actually an Italian contemporary designed kitchen with its countertops and splashbacks made out of quartz. We also have a marble wall up ahead of me, right? So, what do we talk about? Let's talk about the appliances. We have the integrated refrigerator and freezer. Let me open that. You saw how that illuminated. All right, let me close this and let's look at the other appliances. We have a gas cooktop and gas oven from Siemens, right? We have a dishwasher from Smeg. Ooh, look at that. And we have an integrated range hood from Smeg. All right, so time to open some cabinets, right? Because you guys like it when I do that. What do you open first? Uh, let's open this one, All right? Oh, they have soft close hinges as well. So let me try the slam test for these ones. Easily passes the slam test. I'm gonna open these cabinets over here. Wow, that is rather big. Okay, two shelves, same soft close hinge. Nice. Let me open some of these lower cabinets here though. Ooh, wait, let me open this one. This one looks nicer. Yeah, so we have two shelves over here. Can you guys see? All right, uh, let's open the ones behind me as well. Uh, two shelves again. These drawers, I'm gonna open just two of them. One and two. Oh. All right, so you guys can see that this drawer has cordon off sections for its utensils, right? We also have a double bowl kitchen sink and a really cool kitchen sink mixer in the form of a pipe that is sheathed in a spring coil. Look at that, looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that back and uh, we can even turn. Right, so moving out of this space, proceeding ahead, immediately to my left, we have the dining space. 
and it leads up to a little section over there that is not part of the show apartment so just ignore that that is actually a little office we have Gassia from Omnia sales manager shout out to Gassia <laughs> all right uh, proceeding ahead we have the living space right the ceilings are pretty high the ceiling height is not confirmed by the developer but if you ask me it looks to be around three meters in height we have a drop ceiling in this show apartment Right, and it leads up to this magnificent full height set of floor to ceiling windows that are double glazed and they actually feature a German Wicona lift and slide facade system. We're gonna check that balcony out in a while towards the end of the tour, so don't go anywhere, stick around. All right, I'm gonna walk around this living space so you guys can have a look at it, basket all in. <laughs> nice, time to check out the bedroom of this apartment. All right, so I'm gonna walk around so you guys can basket all in. Check that out. Right, so this bedroom leads up to the balcony that actually connects to the balcony from the living space. So it has direct access from the balcony and the living space. Time to check out the master bathroom of this apartment. But before we do that, you can see that I've entered a little walk-in section for its bespoke wardrobes for a him and a her. Right, I'm gonna check it out so you guys can see that it has LED lighting strips right under these hangers. Right, I'm gonna check out the other section too. Ah, pretty nice. Do my squat. Okay, show you guys these drawers. Very sturdy. You have a lot of height over here to place your coats, blouses, whatever. Now, moving on to the bathroom, right? I've got a lot to talk about in this bathroom. Firstly, we have a double vanity top, right? Toilet bowl over here. A bathtub right here. And a rain shower enclosed in this shower cubicle, right? Cool. The fittings and sanitary wear are from Banyo Design. Let me open some of these uh, cabinets over here. Show you guys how it looks like. All right. Oh, look at those hinges. They look very, very solid. Should I try the slam test for these two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easily passes the slam test. We have a nice panoramic window over here that is actually a cabinet as well towards the end. You guys can look at that. You guys can put your toiletries, paraphernalia, face creams, whatever you guys like to put in over here, face washes. <laughs> all in all, a very spacious master bathroom that is also outfitted with marble, right? So let's check out the balcony over here. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys how these curtains open automatically, right? If I do this. Okay. Voila, open sesame. See how that opens up? to the Burj Khalifa view. We're gonna check that out right now. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna access the balcony from the living space, all right? Cool, so. All right, put it down and slide it open. Cool, so we have glass balustrades over here. You guys can see that is the Burj Khalifa. So this unit in particular has the Burj Khalifa view. I'm gonna hold out my camera so you guys can have a look at that. All right, so. If you guys are wondering, hey, will my Burj Khalifa view be obstructed by that little plot of land over there that might have a building in a year or so? Wait, so let me try and explain this to you. If a building is constructed over there, they will have a podium level and the Burj Khalifa view will still be visible through that podium level because half of the Burj Khalifa is actually behind this podium over here, right? So if there is another podium to its left, you will still see the Burj Khalifa, so you don't have to worry about that. And this is the East Tower. The West Tower will be a little further ahead and will also have the Burj Khalifa view through these two buildings, which is not obstructed. You can take Omniat's word for it, right? So if I proceed ahead, you can see that the balcony extends up to the master bedroom. I'm not gonna open it from here. And I hope you guys enjoy this tour of the one bedroom show apartment here at the Sterling. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was episode 21 of the Property Game of Tours, featuring the Sterling by Omniat in Business Bay about to rain now so i better hurry up anyway let me know what you guys think about the sterling in the comment section below and if you'd like to book a free consultation with dubai's friendly neighbor property man i've mentioned a link in the description box as always tell me which projects i should do next because i like hearing from you guys and i will see you all in the next one Woo!